Like you can replay the video over and over to know what the memory verse is. It comes from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Okay, so now I'm going to, once upon a time, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, in biblical times, there was this lady and she was very poor. She literally had her lunch for the day and she had um, a few coins. Like th These were all her possessions. And she came to the church and um, they were doing tithes and offering. And the rich people are like coming and they're flashing their money and then they put it and they make sure that people see it they put their money into the tithes and offering um, baskets and people sometimes think that the people who give the most money are the most valued in God's kingdom but today we're going to learn something different about this okay so this lady she comes and she has these blue coins in her hand and she goes to the basket and that's all this guy he, like these people just walked in with a lot of money and coins and um, that's all she has this is all her money and Jesus notices her he says in Luke 21 verse 3 I tell you the truth he said this poor woman has given more than all the rest of them I think the dis disciples were like see for world like did you see how much money that other person just put in <laughs> okay well, um, let's listen to what he says. So Jesus continues and he says, For they have given a tiny part of their supper, and she, as poor as she is, has given everything she has. Whoa, that is hectic, okay? Imagine you only had a few coins, and would you like to give that away? Well, this lady did. And she wasn't worried about um, tomorrow, she trusted God. She chose to be generous to God because she loves him so much. And he, in turn, will be generous to her. And the few little coins that she gave are worth much, much more than this like big money that um, the other people came with. So I like you remember, you know, in um, big church, they have the offering baskets and people like put money i think sometimes your parents are like i oh, just put in a few coins and i just want to um tell you why we do this so we do this to give thanks to god for all that he has given us and um we get, we choose to give him cheerfully and um even if it's just a few coins if maybe sometimes it's a lot of money 
but sometimes it's only a few points um, and the way to give is like not because you have to give not uh, I have to give or I just want to buy this packet of chips so uh, now I have to give no 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 that is not how the heart of giving you must give excited because God loves a cheerful giver just even if you have a few points if you give 10 cents 20 cents whatever you just take your few coins and you cheerfully give to God and um, he will love you um, for that well he already loves you regardless <laughs> but then he loves you um, he loves a cheerful giver so I encourage you to be cheerful givers as we go through the rest of your lives actually that sounds like a very long time hey <laughs> yeah um, so now I'm going to um, tell you the memory verse again the memory verse is 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 okay each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver so I encourage you guys to be cheerful givers as you go out into the week and um, let us pray let's kill more of these mosquitoes that are bothering me <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you that we got to worship you and just got to learn about you and to learn the principles um, of the kingdom so that we can learn how to be more like Jesus and learn to live in your kingdom, Father. Thank you that um, we are your children, regardless of what happens in our lives. And thank you, Lord, um, for this wonderful well wonderful kids that are watching this service and um i pray that you bless them father as they go out into the world or stay at home or go to school um in jesus name i pray amen okay catch you next week remember the memory verse um as nathan will ask you next week so take notes you can rewind the video you can rewatch it and um, yeah, I'll catch you next week. Well, <laughs> bye.